What is up guys, this is Olympio coming at you today with a new card discussion about a new trap card that has been announced and released in the Raging Tempest set and it's a doozy. So this card is called Switch Hero, not to be confused with the hero archetype, it's got absolutely nothing to do with it, but it is a normal trap card and its effect reads as follows. Each player switches control of all monsters they control with each other. There must be the same number of monsters on each player's field to activate and resolve this effect. So, if my opponent has two monsters and I have two monsters, I activate this card and then we both switch the actual controls of our monsters. That is pretty ridiculous if you ask me. Now when this was first announced there was a bit of confusion over if you could activate it and resolve it if the same number of monsters at activation was on the field. If I was playing school servants and my opponent was playing something else, they activate that and I activate something like the white princess to tribute itself, then I only have one monster instead of two monsters on the side of the field. Now that it's been cleared up with the fact that it says there must be the same number of monsters on each player side of the field to activate and to resolve this card. So that's just some of the ruling aspects, but overall this card's pretty ridiculous. There, there are some pretty gimmicky plays you could do with it, and it seems like a bit of a gimmicky card, but I think it could actually see some decent amounts of play, if I'm honest. So obviously in the mirror matches, this is probably not going to be used all that much. I mean, there are a few things that you could technically do with it, but you would have to line yourself up with dud cards and then switch them over to your opponent in the mirror but then your opponent might be able to use them anyway so it's a bit of a weird one. Obviously this card works really well with things like spirits in your senjus, anything that will return to your hand in the end phase as well as decks that have tokens or really low monsters or for example skull servants where your king of skull servant might be on 8k on your side of the field then you activate this switch it with your opponent then it's on zero because they probably don't have any skull servants in their graveyard and then what you can do is you can just tack into it activate its effect and bring it back on your side of the field so yeah that's pretty decent there are a lot of different ways that this card can be used and I think it's just a bit of a weird one because I never thought that something like this would occur in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh if you take your opponent's monster that's pretty ridiculous that's why snatch deals banned again that's why change your hearts banned all of these cards that take your opponent's monster from basically nothing that's why they're not here because they're completely unbalanced and unfair this card you're basically going neg one because you're using this card and then you're switching the card. However, you're getting possibly some of your opponent's best boss monsters and you're just giving them nothing useful. Some people are saying Scapegoat is one of the best cards for this, but I actually disagree because Scapegoat gives you four monsters or four, four tokens on your side of the field and is your opponent going to have four tokens? It's just one of them. If you really want to use something like that, use like Stray Lands, which is a little bit more flexible because it only gives you two tokens instead of four. Then you can at least play around with them. But if your opponent has four or five and you Scapegoat in your opponent's end phase, and then summon a monster or something like that, great, all be it to you. Overall, the card's really interesting, it's really cool. I do like the fact that this exists because I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this just in school servants, for example, and see what I can do with it, so yeah. But that is it, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the Switch Hero. Do you think it's a really cool card or you just think it's a massive gimmick that will never take off? So as I said, let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I should catch you guys later.